from research, it's been shown that at the ages of 18 to 35 are the best years for you to manage your finances. And you would need to know all this. So stay tuned in this video to get more tips. Hi, the personal finance tips for young adults. You are that age between 18 to 35. I just have some few tips, finance tips for you on how to save or how to work money or how to in fact maintain your standard knowing what to do and what not to do in terms of financing this year be intentional about money make money and let money be your goal and objective this year remember nobody values a poor man so step up your game and set up your targets in order to have money this year Finance is one of the most essential elements of life because in your daily livelihood, you get to spend daily. It's either you're making money or you're spending money. So identify between these two. Are you among the savers or among the wasters? Avoid being the wasters. You should always be mm -hmm, the savers. Now, the savers are those who actually save money each month each day each period they set goals they set standards and they want to like write up their saving objective i'm saving maybe a thousand dollars per month or per year or that they have fixed objectives in terms of saving maybe due to the fact that they want to acquire some properties or make some life-changing investment for their future but if you're among the wasters then you're probably among those who just think life is all about working and spending. That is not way, that's not the way it goes. In life, you ought to know when to spend and where to save. It's not everything you spend. you just like, I live life like there's no tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. That is the first step of failure. So if I'm taking you through these finance tips, you ought to know what are some of the things you ought to implement and what not to so the first tip about finance personal finance tips is stop procrastinating yes yeah, stop procrastinating especially in terms when you want to save if you have set your objectives that you're going to open a bank account no matter the type of accounts you have in mind that you want to open stay true to it and try to implement it save save if you have budgeted that you save one dollar per day let a day not go by without you saving one dollars a day if actually you're saving five dollars a day start starts now because procrastinating is simply the effect of you saying i will i will i will and you actually do not do what you are supposed to do so avoid procrastinating try in as much as possible to be a so these first tips take it very serious implement it with all you have stop procrastinating if at all you want to invest start even for one dollar start investing from that one dollar do not wait for it to move from one dollar to a thousand dollars before you start having investment ideas so stop procrastinating that is the first finance tips the second is having in an investment mindset having an investment mindset know that i must invest i'm at an age of investment so actually the second is being able to set investment standards what are your investments should i partner with somebody to invest or should i depend on self-reliance to invest or i should be looking on taking a loan in order to invest what are my investment strategies what am i implementing so if you're able to know all this you should know all your investment strategies do i want to be an entrepreneur do i want to be based or focus in my online business or my online strategies my works maybe you're a content creator or somebody but just start investing from that one dollar you have your hand start investing because that is actually the finance tip you see the millionaires out there they started from somewhere so you also start from somewhere the third finance tip is actually taking excessive debts without a refundment plan you're into debts and you don't know how you're going to pay it avoid debts no matter how challenging life might be avoid debt unless it is a debt in for uh, for investment 
purposes but if you're taking debts without any investment and you're just on spending that is a wrong strategy that's something really wrong and it hinders your financial growth so these tips are here to help you in order to identify some of these and be able to wipe off what you already faced the fourth is getting to build a professional portfolio now get to build a professional portfolio a professional portfolio is you your working experience the skills you have acquired after school and the skills you are still trying to build there may be the skills you have already placed before you and the skills you want to change for a better tomorrow so what are those things you want to so these were the few tips i brought to you for today as finance tips as we go forward i'll bring you more finance tips in order to better your financial life until then it's been finance madeline see you in our next video